building a da vinci style water wheel out of an e-bike motor that's set up for 48 volts uh, look at the previous videos if you want to learn more about how specifically we plan to do it but in today's video what we're going to be doing is putting this back inside of the hub so we can spin it and generate generate electricity and measure the voltage as we spin it and reconnect wires in series they started out in parallel we're moving to series. Let's go. If you saw video one, you saw how much force it took to get this separated. So I cannot stress too much how important it is for me to keep my fingers out of the way. I do not want to create a finger coffin. The plan is to insert the shaft into the bearing and let the magnetic force take over. I hope it doesn't slam it down in there, but I really don't know. Um, I don't think there's a lot of friction on the bearing itself. So maybe I'll just hold it a little bit sideways. So it has to fight a little bit to get in there. It's just gonna go all at once like that. You may remember in a previous video how I said we had two ways we could do this. There's not, there's only one way. What's going on is it needs the other cover in order to hold this suspended, perfectly centered inside the magnetic ring. So what that means is my plan was to mount this on a something where I could spin the wheel and the, the shaft would stay fixed. But the problem is it's, you can't move it because the magnets pull one side to it and then there's insane amount of friction. So what that means is I'm gonna have to do all the soldering with this enameled wire and bring every single wire out through the hub here where these wires come out. I'm gonna get rid of these and then I'll have to do the wiring externally. So that's the only way we can do this without building some kind of custom bolted on pseudo hub to hold this axle in the right position. I just don't want to do all that. I don't think it buys me enough. So this video is going to be longer than intended. It'll probably be in two or three parts.